Renegade, which is what I wanted. <laughs> I don't want him to join uh, uh, the Judgment Day and stuff like that. So, Same. And now he's going to be fighting Sammy, apparently. He had a fight with Seth Rollins. Um, and Seth Rollins here, <laughs> he's got to be turning him. <laughs> Why? He's giving a title match to Jay Uso. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, that's... I mean that's not that's not really yeah, I know where they won oh, they won three oh, games oh, together. Oh, oh, oh. And the, okay, but look at everybody that Seth's already beat. Beat Sami Zayn, beat Drew, literally beat everybody on the team except Randy. Why wouldn't Jay also get a title shot? He shouldn't. <laughs> he shouldn't. Nah, see, you don't, you don't want to say I'm right. I'm a hater. I don't give a damn. Yeah. I don't give a damn. See? I'm actually, uh, I know, I'm actually, I was actually disappointed that he's given Jay the title, the title shot because I thought, I thought it was too, I thought it was too soon. I actually thought that Jay was gonna get his title, title shot like, like maybe like in like a, in like a month or so, and then, and then Jimmy was gonna get involved, therefore, therefore setting up the the, the brother versus brother <laughs> match at WrestleMania. That's that's what I thought that, that how they were gonna go in that direction. So, so I, so I just, I just want more for Drew. And I feel like he's the guy that needs to win the title. We always will. Like, and again, Seth Rollins with his back, all the stuff about his back, they keep playing it. And I'm like, if there's anybody to kick his ass and take the title, it's Drew McIntyre. I don't know if that plays into a cash in with Damian Priest and then he cashes in, causes Drew the title, and then they go clash at each other, whatever the case may be. But it's like, we need some things cleared up here. We need Drew McIntyre as champion. We need the money in the bank cash in. Do we need him as champion right now? I feel like that. I, I feel so. like that. I feel like that opportunity is come and gone. Oh, we didn't man. get Clash at the Castle. <laughs> I didn't beat um, Seth. At, I don't think it's. I don't think it's in the cards. At least not until after Mania. Or at he wasn't I even the deciding factor in War Games. Wasn't even the deciding factor in War Games. <laughs> like I don't yeah, know what's next. He's gonna like go to live Mania. Mania. I feel it exactly. <clears throat> It's sad. Drew McIntyre is pretty much the Dallas Cowboys right now. Some way, somehow, <laughs> when it counts, he'll let you down. And for the last five matches. <laughs> and, and, and then y'all know you watch first takes, and you know who I got that from. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Some way, somehow, he'll let you down. <laughs> like, oh, man. No, it wouldn't. Like, I just don't get it. I don't know what they're doing with him. But it's like, he's not winning. I, we, got the mean, yet. we got the anger. We got the we got the mean streak that I, we've all wanted because we he can definitely see the contract his... yet. <laughs> <laughs> like we can't give you this title until Never, we get that John. I don't anger. understand why. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, there's been so many so many mixed reports about it. You got some. I think I've read one report saying that it's not necessarily a, an issue with money or anything. It's more. It's more of a. He more of a thing where he, he wants to go back to Scotland and see his yeah, family for a little time bit. Too, take some yeah. time off and like spend some time with his family for a couple of months and so then come back, back to work. Have... It's like, I mean, that, he gets the, the, he gets the title and then the, the cash in happens on him. I'm sorry, that would be so disappointing. I mean, <laughs> and that's the only thing where it's like he just, he want he wants to take a break from wrestling and go be with, be with his family, and that's what's holding things up. It's like, all right, let him go relax with his family. Then if he hasn't been back to Scotland in uh, in I don't know how many months, years or something, or whatever yeah. month, I don't know. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I mean, if, also, if I mean, that's the case, I mean, they just got CM, they got Randy Orton back, and they they signed CM Punk. So, <laughs> they, like I said, like my, 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 the money's there again because I think I think that's something that I wanted to talk about in the CM Punk part. Them getting the Endeavor and TKO status, Deal. whatever that is. That yeah. is way more international base, uh-huh. and especially with UFC going to like Brazil, Japan, um, yeah. England, the UK, and stuff like that. That opens up the doors for WWE in a way that probably they couldn't do on their own. Maybe there's a little bit more leeway with there and more international travel and stuff like that. Obviously, the TV deal you got Punk, you got Randy back, you got those mega stars on TV now. So it's like the money's there to sign Drew McIntyre. That's why I wanted to bring that up. Yeah. Like, it, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, if he does want to go home, it's like you should have had your injury angle and then went home. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I'm WWE in my mind, I'm like, yo, you're getting hurt in like August. You come back at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> you get six months with your that family, come back break, at the Royal yeah. Rumble, and then we start mm-hmm. your mania push. Away. But it's just like I, I don't know where I don't know where he takes that break. 
you know what I mean? If he if, if that is the case, I don't know where or when he takes that break. So it's like with your storyline character, again, I like the character that we have. I don't know about the skirt and the ring and all that stuff, but we got That's the character. That we, <laughs> we got the character that we want with the leather jacket. We're getting the 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 innuendos of the, the Scottish psychopath of Mean Street Drew, and it looks like that's going to start with It's not a skirt, man. It's a kilt. Have, 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 have some respect for Rodney Piper. <laughs> Again, that, just brings, that just brings you back to the 92 Royal Rumble when uh, Roddy Piper comes out, and he's like, um, Roddy Piper helps out, I think, uh, Ric Flair in the match, and he goes, I'm sorry, it's not a it's not a it's not a it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. It's a kilt. Yeah, Bobby he Heaney, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes back attacking Ric Flair and he's like, Oh, it's a skirt. But yeah, like I just we're getting that mean streak drew. Apparently, uh Sami Zayn is the uh uh saf- I don't I can't even say it. The sacrifice and all this. Yeah. <laughs> sacrifice and all this, uh uh going up against Drew. Um and that's another thing, Sami Zayn's character. I'm just like, what is he? Just fighting for the greater good? Is he like the sheriff of Raw or something? Like, <laughs> he's a good guy now. Like, he's, just he's a super baby face. He's a super, super baby, baby face. The super white meat baby face. I'm like, oh, what is like? What is his character like? He says he did say he wanted to get world championship. He said he he understands where Drew is, where we both lost against Seth and all that. The bloodline both cost us. Um, so there's some parallels there, but it's just like. I need. I, we needed to get those guys in like single match goal. Like he, he needs to be yeah. competing for the title, even though he had his title shot. But it's like we need to I get. Know. More. I feel like Sammy should be should be champ. At least get like one run. Somebody I said. Like just, I feel like he's earned it. I was talking to somebody like he should win the Royal Rumble. I'm like, it would be crazy. <laughs> to have him win the Royal Rumble. He would get such a pop if he did. <laughs> that like that's such crazy. a huge pop if he did. Last year, if he had won it, oh my god, <laughs> the whole bloodline storyline, yeah, <laughs> that would have just added last to year? it. Oh, <laughs> that would have just added to it because Roman would have been like, it <gasps> would <gasps> <laughs> have been that Triple H angle with Batista, like, where are you gonna go? Yeah, but um, I nah, mean, again, as I said, CM Punk returning, Randy Orton returning, uh, Royal Rumble is gonna be packed, and Royal Rumble is one of my favorite events, um. Obviously, one of the big four, so to have that in Tampa. Um, Jade Cargill should be appearing there, like, long enough. I know Triple H mentioned her. They asked him yeah. about her yeah, at the yeah. press conference. Um, and it's like, it's time. <laughs> the Royal Rumble should be it. Yeah. I think and we're still two months away. <laughs> yeah. He he, he kind of framed it to make it to make it to make it seem as though like to make it seem as though that she, we want to be sure that she can handle any situation that we we throw mm-hmm. her in or anything. That pretty much was 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 called was called for saying yeah, for the rumble that, that AEW messed her up when they were when they were training her and we're trying to un, <laughs> un, 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 unfix that's, what they what they did. That's, did that's for a shot. That's and a shot. That's take a little bit, so we'll save her to the rumble. They, they got to fix the coding, you know. Yeah, it's like we got to fix everything that they, they, they that they did to us. That's, that's, that's the that's the shot. That's the shot he threw at AEW. <laughs> they messed her. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> they messed her. They didn't train her right. My thing. I've seen the her. Punches are way too stiff. I saw pictures of uh, her and uh, Ricky Starks training together. It's like who's training her? Well, if it's her, and Ricky, if it's her and Ricky Starks. Then I think that I think that may have been at, Co- at Cody's school, the Nightmare Factory. Yeah, the Nightmare Factory. Yeah, yeah. she's down so there. If that's the case. Then I think that's 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 Cody and Q- QT or and yeah, Cody. or his brother. I forget. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe that's why QT. Maybe that's why yeah. QT left. He's like, I gotta go train Jay Cargill. <laughs> I can't. I can't be here anymore. Oh, 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 WWE is gonna is gonna like sign him as a coach or something. Like they're gonna they're gonna give him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most job. definitely. I yeah, think yeah, Cody yeah. Cody's gonna put in a good word for him. Who get the job? Yeah, like a sure. producer or something. I mean, since Cody has all the p- politic connections, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> nah, Cody will take care of QT. Q- Q- <laughs> I'm telling you, when he turns when he turns heel and goes full, just to be a trainer or something though. When he goes full heel and turns Homelander, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> the Cody Rhodes. Well, what if that's the story? He doesn't win, and then he goes full Homelander. <laughs> he crazy. has the American suit on already. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, he's gonna go. I'm telling you, the heel work of Cody Rhodes in WWE is gonna be great. <laughs> when the time comes. Mm-hmm. Oh man, uh, but yeah, if there's nothing else, uh, I don't think there's anything else on Raw. 
that we got. Obviously, we got the Gunther and Miz stare down, so that's obviously happened again. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just want to say, uh, over sorry to interrupt. Overall, as a as a show, Raw was actually very, very good, very, very good this week. Mm -hmm. I actually felt every match and every segment that they did had a purpose. I mean, even the tag team titles e e even yeah. had a, a turmoil match to determine who yeah. the next two contenders were. We're going to raising stakes for the tag team titles again. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then in the women's tag team division, they had a tag team tag team title ma match. And then mm -hmm. even Ivar and Bron Bronson and uh, Bronson. Yeah, Reed, that was a pretty good no contest. Yeah. Well, those, anytime you see two guys that size, two two behemoths like that going at e going at each other, I mean, you really don't even need a, a, a stakes or a storyline for it. It's just mm. who, who's, <laughs> the who's the better one out of both of us. It, it, it sells itself. And don't so, forget uh, Cody and Shinsuke. And then, yes, I, 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 I did mean, not see that game, happen. I did yeah, not see that happen. That's something that positive for you. You had Cody declaring for the Rumble, and then Nakamura got his next feud with Cody. The only thing that sucks about that, they both kind of need a win. <laughs> 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 that's the only thing that, that's going to be hard about just one more games. I'm yeah. calling it now. Shinsuke gonna, is going to throw out Cody at the Rumble. Exactly. That's the only thing that sucks. Calling it now. That happens. Oh, my God. That's all that sucks is that they both He's not winning win the rumble. <laughs> Why are but, they putting all these roadblocks in front of Cody Rhodes? <laughs> but Shinsuke uh, needs adversity. it. Shinsuke needs you it more. You yourself, Jen. Adversity. He needs yeah. all this adversity. Nakamura needs possible. to win more, though. I'll say that. Now it's gonna get interesting because it's like that Shinsuke doing the mist. That's that's dope. Like I'm like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They keep they keep um, yeah. They're like that's crazy. Um, yeah. And you sent that thing about uh to Jerry in the chat, right? Yeah. <laughs> with uh, Joey Janela. Joey Janela. He like, said, oh. I got the goggles on. He's like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was pretty good. No, but uh, yeah. all that stuff happening on Raw looks like it's leading up to a good uh, uh, wrestling. We're heading into the winter break of wrestling, heading into the Rumble. So it's the road to the Royal Rumble. Um, got all these things happening. Um Damage control. We're gonna figure out what's happening with damage control. Logan Paul is gonna come back and be on SmackDown this week. Um, we'll see if there's but let's see if Roman Reigns is on there. <laughs> we don't know when he's gonna show up. We don't know. Um who knows? Uh, but that will do it for uh what am I doing here? There we go. Uh wrapping it up. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me as always. <laughs>